Hello, my friends, it's Mrs. McDuff. Today's story is a little bit different. I'm actually going to be reading some poems for you. These are poems all by Jack Prelutsky, and this is from a little mini selection of his poems called The New Kid on the Block. It's actually Poetry Month, April is Poetry Month, so I thought it would be perfect to almost end April with some poems. So there are 18 in here. Let's see which one is your favorite. The first one is called When Tilly Ate the Chili. When Tilly ate the chili, she erupted from her seat. She gulped a quart of water and fled screaming down the street. She coughed, she wheezed, she sputtered, she totally ran amok. She set a new world record as she raced around the block. Tilly's mouth was full of fire. Tilly's eyes were red with tears. She was smoking from her nostrils. She was streaming from her e sorry, she was steaming from her ears. She cooled off an hour later, showing perfect self-control. As she said, what tasty chili. I should like another bowl. <laughs> I guess she likes spicy food. My baby brother. My baby brother is so small, he hasn't even learned to crawl. He's only been around a week, and all he seems to do is bawl and wiggle, sleep, and leak. <laughs> ah, this one is from the title of the book, The New Kid on the Block. There's a new kid on the block, and boy, that kid is tough. That new kid punches hard. That new kid plays real rough. That new kid's big and strong with muscles everywhere. That new kid tweaked my arm. That new kid pulled my hair. That new kid likes to fight and pick on all the guys. That new kid scares me some. That new kid's twice my size. That new kid stomped my toes. That new kid swiped my ball. That new kid's really bad. I don't care for her at all. <laughs> this one made me laugh. My dog, he is an ugly dog. We'll see what Logan thinks of this one. My dog, he is an ugly dog. He's put together wrong. His legs are much too short for him. His ears are much too long. My dog, he is a scruffy dog. He's missing clumps of hair. His face is quite ridiculous. His tail is scarcely there. My dog, he is a dingy dog. His fur is full of fleas. He sometimes smells like dirty socks. He sometimes smells like cheese. My dog, he is a noisy dog. He's hardly ever still. He barks at almost anything. His voice is loud and shrill. My dog, he is a stupid dog. His mind is slow and thick. He's never learned to catch a ball. He cannot fetch a stick. My dog, he is a greedy dog. He eats enough for three. His belly bulges to the ground. He is the dog for me. <laughs> when it talked about how he smelled like, sometimes he smells like dirty socks. He sometimes smells like cheese. Reminded me of my stinky blue cheese marker. <laughs> the next one, my brother's head should be replaced. <laughs> my brother's head should be replaced. It's lighter than a feather. He's trying to use tomato paste to paste tomatoes together. <laughs> when Dracula went to the blood bank. When Dracula went to the blood bank, he thoroughly flustered the staff. For rather than make a donation, he drew out a pint and a half. When you go to the blood, blood bank, you're supposed to make a donation of blood, not take it out. <laughs> Forty performing bananas. We're 40 performing bananas in bright yellow slippery skins. Our features are rather appealing, though we've, we've neither shoulders nor chins. 
We cha-cha, fandango, and tango. We kick and we skip and we hop. While half of us belt out a ballad, the rest of us spin like a top. We're 40 performing bananas. We mambo, we samba, we waltz. We dangle and swing from the ceiling, then turn very slick somersaults. People drive here in bunches to see us. Our splits earn us worldly renown. We're 40 performing bananas. Come see us when you are in town. <laughs> Lots of different dances in that one. The next one, its fangs were red. Its fangs were red with bloody gore. Its eyes were red with menace. It battered down my bedroom door and burst across my bedroom floor and with a loud resounding roar said, anyone for tennis? <laughs> These are ridiculous. Mabel, remarkable Mabel. Oh, Mabel, remarkable Mabel, your dining demeanor is queer. You eat with your feet on the table while a teaspoon sticks out of your ear. Your mouth opens wide and then wider as you shovel six hamburgers in. Your elbows are dripping with cider. There is mustard all over your chin. In your lap lies a lump of linguine. Your toes cling to slices of bread. Your knees balance pounds of zucchini. There is a pudding on top of your head. Your nose is spread thickly with butter. Your shoulders hold pickles in brine. Oh, Mabel, you may make me mutter, but it's wonderful watching you dine. <laughs> I spied my shadow slinking. I spied my shadow slinking up behind me in the night. I issued it a challenge and we started in to fight. I wrestled with that shadow, but it wasn't very, any fun. I tried my very hardest. All the same, my shadow won. <laughs> I've got an incredible headache. I've got an incredible headache. My temples are throbbing with pain. It feels like a freight train with two locomotives. It is chugging around in my brain. I'm sure I can't stand it much longer. My skull's being squeezed in a vice. As regiments march to the blaring of trumpets and thousands of tap dancing mice. My head's filled with horrible noises. There's a man mashing melons inside. Someone keeps drumming on bongos and plumbing as porpoises thrash in the tide. An elephant herd is stampeding. A volcano is blowing its top. And if I keep hitting my head with this hammer, I doubt that my headache will stop. <laughs> picture is great. I am falling off a mountain. I am plummeting through space. You may see this does not please me by the frown upon my face. As the ground keeps getting nearer, it's a simple task to tell that I've got a slight dilemma that my day is not going well. My velocity is increasing. I am dropping like a stone. I should do with some assistance. Is there someone I can phone? Though I'm unafraid of falling, I am prompted to relate that the landing has me worried and I don't have long to wait. I am running out of options. There's just one thing left to try. In the next 11 seconds, I have got to learn to fly. <laughs> ah, this one I think is very um, appropriate for right now since everything right now is homework. This is homework, oh, homework. Homework, oh, homework, I hate you, you stink. I wish I could wash you away in the sink. If only a bomb would explode you to bits. Homework, oh, homework, you're giving me fits. 
I'd rather take baths with a man-eating shark or wrestle a lion alone in the dark, eat spinach and liver, pet ten porcupines, than tackle the homework my teacher assigns. Homework, oh, homework, you're last on my list. I simply can't see why you even exist. If you just disappeared, it would tickle me pink. Homework, oh, homework, I hate you, you stink. I hope you don't feel that way about the work that you're doing right now. <laughs> the diatonic ditty munch. The diatonic ditty munch plucked music from the air. It swallowed scores of symphonies and still had space to spare. Sonatas and cantatas slithered sweetly down its throat. It made ballads into salads and consumed them note by note. It ate marches and mazurkas. It ate rhapsodies and reels. Minuets and tarantellas were the staples of its meals. But the diatonic ditty munch outdid itself one day. It ate a three-act opera and loudly passed away. Our next poem is Ounce and Bounce. Bowen Ounce and Owen Bounce fell off a speeding train. Both were rather fortunate and lived to fall again. Owen Bounce, who weighed an ounce, was cushioned by soft shrubbery. Bowen Ounce just bounced and bounced, for he was round and rubbery. <laughs> My sister is a sissy. My sister is a sissy. She's afraid of dogs and cats. A toad can give her tantrums and she's terrified of rats. She screams at things with stingers that buzz and things that crawl. Just the shadow of a spider sends my sister up a wall. A lizard makes her shiver and a turtle makes her squirm. She positively cringes at the prospect of a worm. She's afraid of things with feathers. She's afraid of things with fur. She's scared of almost everything. How come I'm scared of her? <laughs> the bloaters are exploding. Maybe it's bloaters. Let's try bloaters. The bloaters are exploding. They are bursting left and right like vials of nitroglycerin or sticks of dynamite. They are going up like rockets. They are popping here and there. The sky is filled with bloaters detonating in the air. There's a simple explanation for this odd catastrophe. You are bound to go to pieces when you dine on TNT. <laughs> and our final poem... Alligators are unfriendly. Alligators are unfriendly. They are easily upset. I suspect that I would never care to have one for a pet. Oh, I know they do not bellow, and I think they do not shed, but I'd probably be nervous if I had one in my bed. Alligators are not clever. They are something of a bore. They can't heal or catch a frisbee. They don't greet you at the door. For their courtesy is lacking and their tempers are not sweet. They won't even fetch your slippers. Though they just might eat your feet. <laughs> and that's our last poem. I hope you enjoyed them. Which one was your favorite? Let me know. Have a great day.